This is Ouch My Wallet, hosted by Robert Simmons, a production of the TF Talk Network. Welcome everyone to Ouch My Wallet for uh, January the 29th, although we are recording this on the 28th. Uh, this is where we just talk about our recent toy hauls, mostly Transformers, but you know, a few other things get sprinkled in here and there. Uh, it's going to be the Smooth Jazz Edition, as I'm your host, Robert Simmons, and my I'm coming down with a cold, so my I really shouldn't be talking. His voice is a little bit raspy. Uh, you got a case of the Mondays. Oh, I hate you. Uh, so, <laughs> speaking of that, with me today to help out with the smooth jazz is Mr. Paul. Hello, hello. I get a smooth voice to get over all those bumps and humps. And those lovely lady lumps. Uh, <laughs> and also with us is Jack. There you go. And... So, since and... Jack hasn't been on the show in a while, so why don't you kick us off? Uh, okay. Uh, I, I mean, I've had a lot of figures in the past few months, but I mean, uh, I don't obviously want to sit here and be like, here's one, yeah. here's one, here's my what 20th, we, here's my 40th. What we've been doing uh, the past few shows is we each do a figure, or if there's like two or three really related, you know, kind of do that, and we'll talk mm -hmm. about it for, you know, five, ten minutes, whatever, and then go to the next person, and we'll do a few rounds, and sometimes we might do a lightning round, just got this, got this, got this, Chim and sometimes we don't. It just depends on how everyone's feeling, so. Okay. Well, I guess for my first round, uh, a couple Saturdays ago, I had a tournament in Green Bay, which actually went fairly well. For what? Bowling? And then, uh, yes. Bowling, bowling, bowling. So before we got to the center, I we stopped at Walmart, and luckily I found not only Studio Series Movie 1 Megatron. Oh, don't even say it. What? Don't, even, don't even show I'm it. Right. What else did you get? Oh, Mixmaster. Mixmaster. Um, he was actually the so yeah, title were... card for the show we did on the 8th, which was our last show. <laughs> um, Yeah, I grabbed these. Or they were like 26 bucks a pop because usually like Voyagers in my area have been like 30 But I guess I have to start going to Green Bay more often because they're like $4 cheaper. I think uh, it's pretty universally around Walmart that the Voyagers are like the, the cheapest at Walmart for some reason. They're and always they're like always under saying, thirty bucks. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like I was saying, they're like even in my area for my stores, they've been at thirty, like twenty nine ninety nine or whatever. You sure and the it's studio? Like a goal. You sure it's not that you're not confusing the Siege, Siege and ones? Siege and Studio Series have been all twenty nine ninety nine. I mean, and we've then seen I go before where individual WalMarts will have. Slightly different prices, you know, depending yeah, on what's yeah. going on. They definitely do. So, uh, yeah, I saw this, and then obviously it was like, I want to say last Thursday, I think it might have been. I go to my Walmart, and sure enough, there's Shockwave and freaking uh, Scavenger Demolisher, whatever the heck his name is. But I Rolly saw that. Boy. The one time I don't have money. I would have not mind if my wallet would have been killed today. Because I really <laughs> want a demolisher to obviously go with Mixmaster. And I don't think I'll have trouble getting him, though. You know, well, I went back to Walmart today, and sure enough, the only one that was there was Shockwave. So I'm like, I was yeah. kicking myself for not grabbing him. So I'm like, Shock Shockwave is going to be shelf. Like, he he's getting a bad rap the last year and a half. He's just shelf warming everywhere. <laughs> no matter what version of him he exists, he's just sitting there. There was like three or four siege shockwaves at my target, and now there's like I think maybe two at my Walmart, and nobody, no other siege or shell foreman except him. Huh. So are you gonna like? You should be able to get I think the demolisher out of online still, or is it sold out online? At I'm places. tempted to just get the rest of them online. 
know. Just uh, uh, well, here's here's the deal. Um, no one wants Shockwave, so they're always buying Scavenger if they see them. And I've only seen <laughs> them, I've only seen them like one case per store at the few places I've seen them so far. And the Voyagers are now packed three to a case instead of two, and there's mm-hmm. two Megatrons per one Mixmaster. So the Constructicons are. I mean, they're just, they're hot now. I think now that we're getting close to finishing it, it's like, it's like a, yeah, it's a crazy fest. I haven't picked up a Studio Series Shockwave. I want it at some point, but I don't want to pay 50 bucks for it. So it sounds like I have a good chance of getting it on clearance. (laughs) Yes, I know. That's, yeah. I might just wait for that too. So, but yeah, here's my first round. And I'll let somebody else go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Definitely. Uh, I had one issue with the transformation with it where, I mean, it was my fault. Like, I didn't have a tab somewhere, like, trying to put into truck mode. I can't remember uh-huh. exactly what it was. And once I figured that out, the transformation was actually pretty smooth back and forth. Um, I think the only thing I really had troubles with was just the uh, cement drum, trying to get that lined up. Pretty much yeah. everything else was smooth. And I even went to uh, big boy face mode, and that was even kind of cool. <laughs> it's uh, definitely simpler than... Uh, the Revenge of the Fallen version. Oh, yes. yeah. That thing is... I mean, it's, it's impressive engineering, but it's also like a Rubik's Cube to get that thing put back together. Yeah, that's one of my least favorite transformations ever. <laughs> I, I don't even think I've ever really done it correctly. <laughs> I think I just gave up. I messed with it once, and I'm like, I should ne- never mess with it. Ever. Well, to keep on your topic jack uh, uh let me let me just hold something up all right i'm holding something too uh, uh, I, I just love this face he kind of like is like con <laughs> <laughs> screaming up in the air you know i think this is going to be a fun finished finished thing i'm looking forward to it yeah. The only thing I'm disappointed in Studio Series Devastator is that he doesn't have the two wrecking balls, but oh well. Somebody will make a custom out of like a couple ping pong balls. and <laughs> I, mean, I think it's, we were talking about this on the show yesterday, I think that is something that has a, actually has a high chance of getting a Shapeways kit or even a third party <laughs> kit. <laughs> DNA I mean, de- designs? Yeah, something like that to put the balls on it, which are stupid, but they're also show accurate. Yeah. So, but yeah, I got him as well before I went on my cruise. Came in, I think. I think he came in from Hasbro Pulse. I think is where mine came in from. But uh, what do you think of him, Paul? I got nothing but great things to say about that toy. I thought it was awesome. I thought it was super huge and heavy for a leader. So like, everyone complaining about small jazz. Well, you got giant scavenger now. You know, it's, <laughs> a, it's a really big leader. I love the way the wheels work. Um, it's just, it's such an improvement over the last one, and it's, yeah, it's a weird Transformer design, but like, hey, it's show accurate, it existed, and uh, they went all the way with it, and it's and it totally nails it in all three modes, I would say. Look I at love that his, face. His face sculpt is awesome. I just think like, it's, look it's at really me neat. before I get shot in the eye. <laughs> um, I like the paint detail they put on the face. My only complaint is the lack of paint elsewhere, which, you know, I take that back. Yeah. Like this right here, this is all paint where it's silver here. That's all paint. There's a lot of silver on the rims and stuff, but this part on the arms just feels lazy. Like mm-hmm. there's a bunch of, you know, molded, not not too many, but you know, there's the molded pipes and crap on the arms. And instead of like picking out some of the metal work to make silver, they just like took an airbrush and, went, pff, pff, and just randomly painted it. And it like fades mm. off, and it just looks stupid. Um, but like, <clears throat> you know, as opposed to like on the back where you know they pick out a piece, or on here they pick out a piece, that looks a lot better. But I mean, that's really my only complaint. The transformation was unorthodox in a good way. Like you could still figure it out, but it wasn't you know, Combiner Wars the legs, you, you know, type of thing, which yeah. you, you can't <laughs> do with a fucking weird design like this, oh, which is a good thing. But yeah. Yeah, I guess it, it's kind of like, it feels like it can like twist in on itself in a way. It's just really, 
it's really different. Mm -hmm. yeah, just if you don't like, if you're not gonna, I mean, I don't know many people that would get this that aren't trying to finish Devastator. Yeah. That's the end goal, but it's fun by itself. Correct. Yeah. So yeah, you need to you'll have to pick it up, Jack. You you don't you're not in the club. Right, no. You don't get the sandwich. So yeah, I have a feeling it's Check gonna Amazon. be a hard one, a hard one to uh, get for a little while. You think until it like hits some saturation point? I I, just, I can never predict the way wave assortments go anymore. I'm like wrong. 90% of the time, so I don't... I, mm -hmm. All I can say is, if you see one, and you want one, I'd get it. What was his scavenger? Like, I, I get the name it's mixed up like Jack does. I know, because I keep thinking, like, scavenger and demolisher, because I think well, demolisher was, like, the white... The white Demolisher's one. the one in the beginning of the film that rolls yeah. around Shanghai, and he... Get I always shot. thought he looked red, because his face is red. Yeah, I know. His face yeah. is exactly the same, but uh, he's white. I thought white. it was red. Okay. I'm not going to rewatch the movie to find out. Yeah, his face is red, <laughs> but the uh, like the it's everything really else on him is like white and gray, and that's why there was there was a few recolors of him yeah. in Revenge of the Fall, and there was a Japanese one that was white, and there was a U.S. one that was white. And I I suspect we'll get a white one, like instead they haven't of repainted like, anything yet. They haven't yet, but I mean you know Skipjack is coming, and that is a yellow rampage. Okay. So that that's actually confirmed, oh. and it looks like it might be a target only thing. And Someone also put this in my brain, and I'm like, "Oh no!" But I haven't heard it officially. I think it was a friend was like, "What if what if they do this? What if there's Studio Series selects?" <laughs> oh no, because <laughs> that would make a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just uh, decided to look up Studio Series Scavenger on Amazon, and uh, seventy bucks. 75. Seventy-five, yes. Ships and sold by Amazon.com. It is sold out at Big Bad unless you buy the Leader Wave, so a hundred bucks for him and Shockwave, which you could do, and then return Shockwave to Target or Walmart. Which I don't want to do because I still need Shockwave. You got to have oh. a receipt though. No, you don't. You can do it at least at Target. You can do driver's license returns. Yeah, same like, at Walmart. Like five a year or something, ten a year or something. Like yeah. That. Well. I don't take too I, much advantage of it. I don't but. think we should be uh, condoning that. <laughs> no. I think we should because it'll make Shockwave go on discount sooner. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> um, but yeah, Hasbro Pulse is sold out as well. So yeah, if, on. apparently you got to get in when the getting's good on the last few of these uh, big only one place, Only one place I know ain't sold out. but <laughs> <laughs> They're probably not for 50 bucks either. Oh, definitely not. Yeah. All right, so that gets to me. I'm going to kick it off with a very, very Rob uh, experience here of Action Master Bombshell. Ooh. <laughs> nice. I have his gun, but the peg is broken off. Um, oh. You just, I don't, you don't see him complete often. Um, especially, you know, the gun is the hard part. Like, you can, on eBay, like, you can find loose bombshells pretty commonly. I mean, not, it's not like, oh, there's 100 listings, but, you know, there's three or four. And you can find sometimes parts of the partner or the legs might be missing, but this has all the bits, just a broken handle. So I'm probably going to just like find something junker, drill out where the post is broken and glue something in there so he can just hold it. And then I'll be good to go. Um, That's for those, cool. For those who don't know, Action Master Bombshell is another one of the European only uh, Action Masters. He's one of, you know, there's the elites that I've talked about on several shows, you know, the, the bigger ones that technically transform. Um, but this guy is one of six in his wave that was only in Europe that um, they have the backpacks that have an action feature. It's like, watch this. Here you go. This is the transformation. This is how it fits. Attack mode. And you press a, lift a leg in the back and pop, pop. Hey, so, that's cool. Yeah. Um, I've never so seen one of those in person. That looks pretty cool because it's very much, it looks like the cartoon bombshell. Yeah. Um, this, there was, of the six in this wave, three of them are just straight G1 dudes. And that's Bombshell, tracks, and Sideswipe. Um, <clears throat> and those three are all super difficult to find. I have a Sideswipe that doesn't have his weapons that I found at a local comic shop for $3 in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like a $40, $50 toy just by itself. Uh, I was like, I know I'll never find the parts for it, but for $3, bucks, um, yeah. Mine as well. Yeah. <clears throat> no harm. Um the other three from that waiver aren't too tough to find, and I have them, you know, with all their bits. They're not too bad, but yeah. 
So, you know, one more down really tracks and sideswipes weapons to go. So I'm getting closer. And then the one last elite that I need, a uh, windmill. So I'm getting closer to being mm. done with Action Masters. But it's... Wow. Can't believe you really went for it. I mean, that's like one of those things back like 15 years ago. You're like... No one has a complete set of those because they were like, you know, we've talked about it before. Years how the later, now they find out somebody does. Well, the prices were so high. I think a lot of people just like, like forgot, like wrote them off of their list in their brain. So much else to collect. Yeah. Not, Why are you going to spend? Not Rob. I mean, this was, uh, I paid more than I wanted for this. I mean, but it's, I've had eBay searches for literally a, a decade or more, you know, like just to see when they show up and kind of get an idea. But I think I paid 60 something for it shipped from France. And then they always come from Europe because they were released in Europe. You know, if you get them in the U.S., they're even more expensive. Um, But, yeah, you know, it's my collection to that point where I'm down to three action masters. And technically two. Just, you know, I have sideswipe, just no weapons. So, uh, Hmm. you can say it's getting pretty serious, guys. (laughs) Yeah, I was excited. You don't see much. Well, good yeah. for you. And what's that's, gonna happen cool. is one day I'm just gonna have to buy a fucking sealed windmill for like three hundred and fifty dollars, and that's the only way I'm gonna <laughs> get that damn toy. You know, it, it'd be interesting to like if you documented, or if, I'm sure you you could find the documentation, but if you could like write a little blog about like the quest to finish the action masters, that would be kind of cool. It's not well, interesting. Sorry. I haven't. Well, it's just eBay. It, you I know, have an eBay search. I, I think that's still. It just shows people how to do it, though. You know how to. You know. I'll tell if, them once I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, good. Good point. <laughs> like they don't come up much. Yeah. Windmills the problem just because he's got so many parts. Like most of these guys only have like a gun and you know the backpack thing, which might have limbs that technically come up, but they're not supposed to be separate parts. Windmill just flat out has like seven parts. He's got little wing tips and rotors and like two sword blades. And it's like it's, it's a good luck unless you buy it sealed for way too much money. So. All right, back to Jack. Back to me. All right. Uh, well, I was watching reviews on this guy. I'm like, yeah, if I find him, I'll get him. Sure enough, found him on my trip to Minnesota the week, like literally just a couple days after getting the Studio Series boys. So I finally jumped on the bandwagon, and wow, Benny, yeah. I love Spinister. I love Spinister's colors. He's one of the. I'm going to do a collection, a character collection post for it, Paul. But I found out there's one I'm missing. Dare you? There's a... Uh, Which one? It was a... Bl- Is it like a Creo or no, something? No, I have the Creo. <laughs> it, yes. Oh. It's a Black Legends Optimus Prime, and he's the Target Master. It's it's a repaint set that's... I didn't know existed until I hit the wiki. It's like from 2012 oh. or something. It's, it's the little the little legend guy that come with the... the for some reason, they were doing like those little Target Master packs. I mean, he's not he's not expensive or whatever, but I'm like, I don't want to pay twenty bucks to get this shipped to me when I, maybe I can find it at TFCon in March for like ten dollars, you know? <laughs> yeah, potentially. I might even have it somewhere because I know I have that Nemesis Prime, and I probably don't care if I have the gun, you know? Hit me up. But uh, that's that's hidden somewhere long, far Got away. <laughs> I'm gonna say throw it in my pile, you know? <laughs> I was going to say it's hidden among those many, many boxes of MP44s. <laughs> hey, some of those are MP43. Some, right, of, yeah, some of those, thing. well, no, you can't, no, those are over there. You can't see them. Savvy fans will see that those, those, there's less boxes than there used to yep. be. So I'm, in, <laughs> I'm getting there. So what did, uh, what do you think? Of yeah, what do you think of Spinister? I honestly love them. Uh, I think, what was it? Yeah, it was either Hound or Prime was pretty much my favorite Siege figure, but all of a sudden I get Spinister. I'm like, I I love this guy even more than those two combined. His colors are so Oh my good. god. Yes. Yes, they are. Um, yes. And I like that it has an an asymmetrical transformation. It's because we, oh, we yeah. don't get a lot of that. Yeah. You know, very rarely do we get asymmetrical transformations. Yeah, I haven't even been able to figure out how to transform him because I've only seen him at a at a meetup and I, no one had instructions and like we could just could not figure it out. We're all really drunk because he's not that difficult. No, I we this is before it got nuts. So I mean, we we didn't spend a bunch of time on it, but like we at least everyone got to handle him and be like, ah, oh, it's a great toy. 
I like that he's a big deluxe yeah. too. Yes, yes he is. Um, I know that there's you can find a YouTube video showing it, but I need to try it on mine again. But like when you go to put in helicopter mode, you can't get the back part of it to like really sink up in there. It's fine, but it turns out if you undo that part and like rotate the hip around, and then put it back together and snap it in, that it goes fine. Um, but like everybody's been running into that, so and it's just. Mm. Yeah, so there's a little small clearance issue, and you just rotate the hip upside down. I mean, it's unnatural to do it that way, but then it's fine. You, just, you snap it back together. So keep that in mind when you go to transform it. If you don't get to see, or you know, again, you may not care. It's not a big deal either way. Yeah, I only transformed it once, so I'm just like, yeah, I tried it. You know, it looks good. And so. I got the hook up on Target Master Shroot, and I already had his other Target Master, so <laughs> he'll have his real Target Master soon. Yeah, I'm gonna be trying to. Try to find them too. Pretty soon. Is there is there a reason why they came up with that name Shroot instead of it's Hair Splitter was the other guy's name, right? I, I'd have to hit the yeah, I, I literally have it on my because I saved it just so I can you know be like go to these pages, find out where they are. Uh, Singe and Hair Splitter. Is yeah. I mean, is it something like Hair Splitter the way you part your hair and Dwight Shroot does that? Man. Hey, that's a stretch, but I'll take. I mean, it. I mean, I assume it has to be an. Of the office reference, right? Probably. Maybe. Or or does, does let's, see, hair, let's see if it actually references that or that in the wiki. hair splitter has like, you know, a one line bio somewhere in like Marvel Comics or something, and they made him out to be, you know, some sort of anal retentive nerd type. Oh and maybe that's <laughs> it. Sure enough. Maybe. In the if you go to Hair Splitter's wiki, you know, obviously in the TF wiki, you go under notes on the last one. It goes, a pencil-pushing, petty, bureaucrat, office drone named Shroot. Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> okay. So it's sure a personality enough. thing. Got it. And yeah, if you click the, if you click where it says sounds vaguely familiar, it will literally take you to the Wikipedia page of Dwight Shroot. <laughs> All right, cool. We figured it out. I like Let's it. Go internets. Possibly my favorite thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next, Paul? Well, uh, I got, I got the new wave of deluxes for Studio oh, Series. Oh. So Bumble, I opened Bumblebee. I had, I had the sound wave from a little earlier. I liked that toy a lot, but I was waiting for this Bumblebee, and it's pretty good. Just they did some interesting things with the transformation, especially, you know, with Bumblebee. He always trying to get that like weird segmented hood on his. Yeah. yeah on his uh, chest to actually be the car has always been kind of like, I think the trick to the bumblebee design and they did it a different way here, which I think is kind of cool. They did the legs a different way, but ultimately I don't think it's the greatest bumblebee ever by any means. It's it's, they kind of have like standardized the bumblebee um, transformation and, and thing it, just the, the, the deluxe figures since uh, studio series started. And I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting but it's I don't think it's like the greatest figure ever. It just yeah. feels kind of, What's the back kind of lacking. Like? You can't The back tidies up pretty good. Like it all clips in. You can see the hood and the hood through the back of the car like actually compresses quite well for a Bumblebee huh. toy. Is that a gun stuck in I mean, his there... okay. yeah, he, yeah, yeah. His gun is not very That's good either. It actually just like goes into his hand and it sort of like doesn't quite fit right. Mm. You know, Which I so guess that's... is kind of a plus because I mean you don't have to worry about an arm like an extra arm you have to like pop off and store yeah. somewhere and hopefully not lose. <laughs> and there's there's lots of like you know hurdles you have to to jump to make like the perfect bumblebee toy and they did some d new things with this one but I don't think it really like you know shattered the world mm -hmm. as far yeah. as you know bumblebee toy design but it is supposed to be. Movie one Bumblebee, like in the Camaro form. So, if you want to complete your Autobot uh, crew, which I've seen some photos of people doing new... now that this is out, it, it I does actually look good. have that. I'm, I'm doing that right now. I'm trying to complete my movie one, and luckily, Megatron was pretty much the main one I needed, but the Bumblebee is the next one. And the only thing I'm hoping for was the, for the movie one cast is just Frenzy. Oh, yeah. Well, you never know. Brains and and wheelies came out so with yeah. uh, shockwave so whatever you never know uh i would i prefer the i would say thing over 
Because, I mean, we got a freaking Scorponok out of Studio Series, so. We did? What was that? I, I didn't get Blackout. Part of Blackout. I didn't get it. So is it, a, is it another slug yeah. figure or is it an actual figure? It, it's a little tiny, pretty much. It's, pr- it's pretty much just the main body. His arms can, like, move in and out sideways, elbow action, made famous by Few. And then his tail can Okay, so it's got some move articulation, back. at least. Yeah. Well, as far as I can tell... I think it's stuck in like battle mask mode. I don't think there it's is. It's actually, from what I heard, it's a permanent head. Yeah. Okay. So they might release another version of this that has the regular head and as like a but, two pack or some something like yeah. that. Well, that was kind of because I noticed somebody actually took the head off the clunker bumblebee, like the original yeah. seventy four Camaro. They took the head off of that, swapped it with the new mm-hmm. one, and it actually fits perfectly. Do the yellows match? So I'm actually. To, it makes I, sense. I, it, lo- it looked enough. pretty close. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of prefer the, the the Clunker Bumblebee is the best Bumblebee in Studio Series because yeah. it's uh, the, screen you accurate. Know, the first the, Studio Series number one Bumblebee was like kind of a, a QC nightmare for for a lot of the editions. Like, yeah. I, it just didn't, I know Bolt Matrix smashed it with a hammer. <laughs> yeah, he, I mean, he he was going for views, but it was a kind of an annoying toy, and they fixed it with the Clunker Bee. Problem with the Clunker Bee is it was short packed in a in a case of eight, so it is a uh, very expensive. Well, sure enough, the first time I saw Shockwave and uh, Demolisher, I found freaking Clunker Bumblebee and a few other ones that I needed. But obviously, my wallet was pretty much already dead by the time I. Oh, you should have stashed it. <laughs> should have put should've. it somewhere. I some diapers. Took all six figures of what I needed, just stashing. Yeah. Well, Walmart has layaway, don't they? Or they only do that in the holiday. They did until it went away. <laughs> Pretty much, I think it was like December 9th. Okay. Yeah, so they, they just at do it for holidays there. and then it goes. Okay. Yeah. Which is a shame. Yeah. Which is why, because we had a couple of Kmart's around here and they do layaway all year round. Huh. So that was like our main thing was to go there, get whatever we needed. And I always did layaway at car, uh, Kmart every time because obviously if they had something I actually wanted, <laughs> Lay away. Here we go. And all of a sudden, you know, I can't do that anymore. And I, now I have to wait till pretty much August to do it again for Walmart. And it's just a pain. Well, something to like I was saying about the Bumblebee, like the way they all work now, it's like they all have these like yeah, hinge. I th- hate that. The hinge oh. joke yeah. thing. It was cool the first time. <laughs> now was, I'm kind of sick of it. Man, like, I should pretty annoys me. I think, does it? Yeah. But, At least it doesn't have. When you showed the back, I was afraid it was going to have like the entire car hanging off the back, like some of them have, where you know it's the hood and the windshield and the <laughs> World roof. War II Bumblebee, it's like one big piece just sitting on the back, and it's just like, oh my god, it looks so terrible. Now, and again, and I'm not—it's it's rel- not big on that, like the Back Lives Matters thing. You know, it's fine, but it just it looks dumb whenever I see it. Yeah, it's it's relatively clean yeah, as far as the toy goes. It's just a little. It's just a little like stumpy, if I if I could use that as a term. Yeah. Like, I, there's there's older bumblebees that I like better. Like I think that battle axe one is kind of the best one. Nice. Yeah, and of Dark course, of the Moon the Human Alliance. Dark is of the great. Moon Deluxe has pretty much been my main bumblebee. Yeah, Human Alliance has been mine. There's, well, there's so many to choose from. Yeah. So yeah, everyone gets what they want. So uh, I think we should probably move on to someone yeah. else. All right. So I have something that's not Transformers. I'll give you one guess Uh-oh. as to what it is. Rock. Boom. Lords. Rock Lords. <laughs> I got... Ooh, I, li- I had that yeah, one. Yeah, this is Spike Stone. Uh, he's two of... One of two... What they call him, like... Oh, well, there's, there's a name for it. You know, a subline imprint. But there's only two of them. There's him and there's a green guy. And they transform into dinosaurs. And what's uh, notable about this guy is his horn. And oh, there it is. His tailpiece... Both of these are get extremely brittle, and most of the ones you find, especially the tail, will be broken off. And so, mm. you know, I've been, I knew they were soft. Like they're a different type of yeah, plastic. Yeah, they don't than feel soft, else. but they are, and that's the problem. Like it's it's a, technically a rubber piece or something, but when you touch it, it doesn't feel like rubber, which means it's brittle. <laughs> you know, so it's just when I mess with it, it's like hold at the hinge and bend. You know what I mean? Um, but no, I've been looking for one that wasn't broken. That was, you know. Reasonably priced. I, mean, I got it for like twenty bucks. And, you know, shipped. It wasn't a. He's not an expensive dude, but it's hard to find him in decent condition. Also, without like a ton of paint wear on the purple. You know, there's there's just a few little spots, but he looks really nice. So. 
looks a little yellowed. He's not. But that's oh really? Just on those parts. I don't know those two. Okay, parts. you're right. They. I assumed that was the color they were, but you could be right. They, maybe they're supposed to be white, and it's yellow. But like it's it's so uniform. Like even on the parts where the paint is scratched away. I just knew how mine mine sort of was yellowed as as a child. Yeah. Like it kind of got it kind of would dis, get discolored. Okay. And I I had them for maybe. I don't. I, I had them in my possession for over ten years, so like it definitely got it. Had that that aging. Yeah. So with, but that's how you know it's legit. So with Spike Stone, another small collection gets closer to complete. I'm. <laughs> Anna, Anna gonna be jealous. Oh, she may already have him. I don't know. I'm missing two normal rock lords that are harder to find, um, and then the three jewel lords and fossil source. So. The Jewel Lords and Fossil Source are all very expensive. And there's some decent auctions out there that have some of the Jewel Lords in them, but they don't have their weapons. They are stupid hard to find with their dumb little weapon. And I, I haven't decided if I'm just going to give that up and save a lot of money. You know, and just get, get them without their weapon. But Never going to give you up. <laughs> all right. So do we want to do another round here? I think we could do Doesn't one. Doesn't matter with me. Yeah, let's do another round. Go for it, Jack. All oh, right. Uh, well, it's kind of a more of a. I'm not really sure how to explain it, but it's not as extravagant as the other three. But I needed a good G1 looking side swipe, so I'm like, yeah, might as well. So there's. I'm surprised seats. you didn't get that when it came out, because I know you. I. I wasn't going to, but then I was kind of looking back. I'm like, well, the only really good side swipe I guess I really had was, like, Dark of the Moon slash. Studio series that or like the Fall of Cybertron, which either one was pretty much the best out of those three were the actual studio series. But I'm like, I need an actual G1 sideswipe, and best right now is Siege. Yeah, he's a real fun toy. Like I don't, I've thinned down my uh, Chug collection as I've talked about, but he's a, I don't, know, he's a really good mold. He's really fun. You know, I think it borrows some from the old MP toy a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was actually about to say. Yeah, which a lot of the good Siege figures do that. Like, Shockwave does that. You know, they, they borrow, which yeah. is good. So something about Sideswipe I noticed uh, this Christmas season was that he was getting valuable. because And that, that to me, that proves, like, it's a good toy near the end of the... Yeah. when the Like, come Christmas times, everyone's like, okay, what didn't I get? Oh, I didn't get that one. So everyone's clamoring for Sideswipe. Yeah, but then the Spinister and Crosshairs wave started hitting stores, and they actually repacked a lot of Wave One. You, it was more, um, God, I want to say there was it was Cog and Sideswipe and Six Gun maybe was in that wave with the with yeah. the new guys. Yeah, so I noticed them a lot more. <clears throat> that cooled the the price off quite a bit, so that a lot of people that maybe missed him. Can can get him get, get him again, which is great because that doesn't usually doesn't usually happen that way. Where like a year and a half later, when everyone kind of like decides that's a toy they want, that they get a chance to get it for a regular price. Like Ironhide is n- people that want Ironhide are not so lucky. That yeah. one is, is very I'm expensive right kind of. now. You know, you've been saying that, and so I thought the other day I was like, I hit up eBay on Ironhide, and they weren't that bad. Like there were some for twenty bucks. Were they Ship. were they sealed? Mm-hmm. Twenty twenty five dollars. Yeah, know, definitely some huh. at thirty. You know, so I wonder if it <clears throat> is a momentary spike or, or, or what's going on. Um, I think or it's is just, it just expensive on Amazon. You know, it's, how, it's just yeah. I mean, I'm you can't you can't always look at one one yeah. uh, platform to get the full the full picture. Yeah. Yeah, on Amazon he's forty dollars. Buy it off the day. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to take yeah out yeah totally demolisher. Or find a place that has it for, you know, I've seen, I think Megalopolis, I hate to even vouch for them, but they had, I think that whole wave, you could buy the whole wave for pretty cheap, but you had to buy it all. Like for, I think for like 50, <clears throat> for 50 bucks, you get that whole wave, which would be great because you could have flipped that iron hide for the, to get it all yeah. back. But then you got Chromia. What are you going to do with that? Nothing. Hate yourself. It's not good. She is not good. Ratchet's also 40 bucks. Oh, Glad I got him. I found him at Walgreens. I'm like, ah, might as well check. You know, sure enough, there he is. Yay! I got mine from Brother Lucas at yeah, TFCon. 
Well, Wal- Walgreens also did a clearance on them. Really? Like, uh, yeah, like right before Christmas. So. Did you happen to buy twenty of them? It was <laughs> a limit, so mm-hmm. no. Well, you know, I know you put out your network when that yeah. happens. Uh, it was it was online only that the got the, it the deal was going. So it's gone now. It's not even on their website anymore. So uh, that means they're done. Done so. Done so. Speaking of toys that got really valuable, if it's my, is it my turn? I'm just trying to roll into that. I finally was able to complete Uh-oh. old Grim Scream here. Nice. Black thighs <laughs> and all. Who did those? Did, the, did you take that from a Skywarp? Some of it. it this is almost ev- pieces from almost uh, every Seeker except for <laughs> Ion Storm and Acid Storm are on this toy. <laughs> Man, that's going to. I know. Skywarp has gotten very expensive. It made me wish I had bought one when I had the chance. Me, me just too. Just to make some profit. <laughs> so the reason I was able to do that is because Red Wings back on Target.com. Oh. <laughs> I hate that that exists. Do you know well, the story behind that character? A little bit. Uh, yeah, it's stupid. I mean, I know it, it's a it's a Pete story thing. time. Yay! It, the short version is. Pete was dating a girl who was a big... I don't even know what, what city is that. Okay, that's a new story. I haven't heard that one. Yeah, he was dating <laughs> a girl and to, you know, not really impress, you know, but like as a joke slash, you know, pseudo-impress type of thing. He's like, oh, you know, I'll make a transformer off of our favorite our favorite sports team, whatever team Red Wings are. I, I literally don't know. I don't support oh, hockey. Detroit, I, I believe Red it's Wings, Detroit. Hockey. Yep. Okay. And yep, so yeah, on <clears throat> he made Red Wing, like, you know, as a... As, as a laugh or whatever, it was like, but it's never going to come out. It's never going to be done. And somehow it got done in selects. Um, you know, that's the rumor I heard. But, you know, we're talking about a phone so, game here, too. So many, so, so many silly stories. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's all the same. All Transformers come from somewhere, you know. Pretty yeah. much. I'm just I'm so seeker burnout, especially when we heard that Red Wing was like a pretty much fake design, like, you know, years ago. And it made me hate it even more. And then it finally got released, which just annoys me I, I don't, irrationally. I don't, I don't mind the the final execution of it. It's it, it's okay. You know, we never had like Starscream's essentially the red seeker, but for some reason he's like an inverted Optimus Prime colors instead. Like this is like yeah. If they had it to do over again, like I bet Starscream would have looked more like this. He would have been more red. Hold, but hold that uh, back up. Is that Red Wing itself, or is this your uh, part? Well, so you're... all <clears throat> this whole time I've been tinkering with stuff. I've been trying to yeah. get uh-huh. my. My, I've been waiting on all these customs I'm making for just a Red Wing, and there's no way I was going to spend, you know, more than retail to get parts. But now I can do it. So now I can finally finish my Optimus Prime Seeker, <laughs> who needed need a blue head. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to not paint this as much as I can. Try to make it just yeah. part swaps. But so, uh, like, this is kind of what I've. This is the the leftovers guy so far. <laughs> it looks stupid, but I'm I'm working. You know what that? For some reason, that looks kind of like. No, it doesn't. It makes me think of Star Saber, but like his inner robot. But I think it's oh. just the blue upper thighs. It made me think of Star Saber himself. But... Well, that's kind of why I just put it together instead of kept it apart to see like does this look like anyone? Because what I've been trying to do is see how many. Because this this Grim Scream, if anyone. Ha- Remembers it was based off a panel of a comic where they miscolored Starscream as Grimlock, and for some reason he had Megatron's cannon, so he also has <laughs> that. So I was like, oh well, now I got all these leftover parts to make this one guy. Are there, is there anyone else I can make? And I'm, I, I was like, oh, I can well, actually the parts work out to make an Optimus Prime Seeker, at least something close. Yeah, and um, also a Bumblebee one. Out of most of Skywarp and the rest of the, the yellow Nova Storm guy, that one actually is one of my favorites. It looks really good, and so I am painting the head yellow, so it is clearly like obvious. It's supposed to be Bumblebee. But um, Paul, while you were so busy wondering if you could, you never stopped to think if you should. I know. <laughs> and I started. I, I figured out the other day there's another one I could make, and it's I'm I'm only missing one part for this. I need to change the the crotch to be blue but this is can you guess what this is crosshairs uh it's action master starscream uh, ah. i'm looking at my shelf i don't know where he is on my shelf 
I mean, you, most people don't remember how wacky that color scheme was, but uh, it's it's pretty good. Like, I might paint yeah, that's pretty the much cockpit. A, his I head might, should be gray. Yeah, head should be gray. I'll probably, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, yeah. but, like, I might paint the cockpit parts black, and I really would like to get a blue crotch from a Ion Storm. So... I'm not a huge customizing fan, but like I, I do like part swapping because you you aren't really destroying the toy at all. Like you know, you could always it, put it back together. Like dying it, toys. dying it is you're destroying the toy. Like <laughs> customizers, yeah. you're, you're destroying the the sanctity of pure Transformer toys. But what monster would do I'm, that? I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm I'm dipping my toe in the monster pool. So, yeah. <laughs> anyways, I was excited to get Red Wing, and if you missed him, you can get him now. Stop whining about a red card. Just get one. See ya. <laughs> All right. For the last toy of the night here, I got in Fans Toys Goose, which is a... Honk. Is that Skydive, I believe? Yeah, that's right. Aerial Bot. Yes, an Aerial Bot. Um, but yeah, he's he's nice. Like, I got their Silver Bolt back at TFCon. Yeah, yeah. And so I went ahead and you know, decided that no one else has announced uh, Superior on that I even remotely like, so I picked this guy up. Um, like Superior on the transformation is surprisingly good. <laughs> you know, it's those fans' toys, man. Those movie bots are trash for engineering, but uh, these are fun. But this is the funniest thing. He has minorly asymmetrical transformation. For the most part, it's symmetrical, um, and it doesn't take long to do. You can kind of guess at what it does. You know, you snug up the arms, you fold them into the chest, it like opens up. And you totally com- basically combine wars of legs, like kind of open up and then you slide them around, and then you know the back, the backpack unfolds. But this is the dumbest thing, and if you're familiar with this toy, you already know this. Man, there's some good ratchets in it. But uh, he has the Zoolander problem, so I can rotate him right. That, he doesn't rotate the other way. Now you can rotate him all the way around. But you can't rotate the oh, other way. He's, <laughs> he can only look right or whatever. Yes, because of this piece. So, like, that folds over to make, you know, the smooth in the back. But it, it just folds out of the way when he's in robot mode. And hmm. you can't... Oh, it's interesting. You, you can't do it. Like, it, huh. Like if you're wanting to pose your figure, and these, you know, obviously are collector figures. They're not for kids to play with on the floor. Um, yeah. If you really need to pose where he's turned that way, you'll just spin it around and you'll get there. You know, but it's just... It's, you it's just funny. spin me right round, baby, right it's, just, round. I don't know, it's the silliest thing, but other than that, uh, it's pretty nice. I did have some problems with, once it's in plain mode, like, getting some of the parts to break apart. And so, you know, I, like, I get out my plastic spudger and my fingernail, like, trying to lift it up. And it's kind of damaged the plastic a little bit, like, where those things snip up. And they're all, like, coated in silver paint, you know? So Oh, I always hate that. Yeah, and I mean, it's one of those... You can't see it at all in robot mode, but like when it's in combined mode, you can see how it's like, oh, it's a little rough where that seam is, you know, just because it takes that to break it apart so you can transform it back. So I, I hope for the later seekers, whatever the hell is causing that, they fix that. But I don't know if most people have raised enough of us think about that they're even really aware of it as an issue. So, but no, other than that, it's a good toy. It's fun. You know, it's one of those that you can transform in ten minutes once you know what you're doing. So. Yeah. It looks really authentic, you yeah. know, to the to the cartoon. The aesthetic's good. The only thing they I don't like that they do is they do a lot of metallic paints, which a lot of people love that. You know, they like that kind of not pure cartoon look, but the mm-hmm. the aesthetics are cartoon and like the design and where the detail is or whatever, but the paint job has that like metallic flake in it. Um I would prefer it to be matte because that's how I am, but it still looks nice and I ain't mad at it. You know what I mean? Um and, you, know, you take what you can get, and it's it's really nice. So that's what you do. Yep. All right. So I think with that, we'll uh, call it a show for tonight. Thank everyone for tuning in. Remember uh, to check out all our other shows on the TF Talk Network. You know, we get um, we've moved some stuff around. TFLP is on Mondays now. <clears throat> hey. Yeah. We may s- still have some Sunday airings, but what we're more than likely gonna do is gonna do some Sunday pre-records to air on Monday. We we're still figuring it out, but we're just trying to give the chance for some more uh, lesser-seen cast members like Don to, to be able to partake again a little more. Um, as well as in Tuesday nights, Microcasters live on Facebook. Out to my wallet's usually live here on YouTube. Uh, this is our first pre-record we've done. Um, 
and then cut the tape typically airs on Friday. Uh, TF Talk Weekly is currently uh, hibernating and may or may not come back at some point as a more direct news show. I guess we'll wait and see. That's what I heard. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, wink, wink. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, if you enjoy what we do, check us out on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash TFLP. You know, we got cheap tiers just for a dollar. helps pay for our server costs and uh, a couple other expenses that we have or things we would like to do. Um, and I think uh, with that, I think we're out. I think that's all the plugs. I think I got them all. I believe so. Oh, yeah. And check us out on the Facebook group as well if you want to chat with us. Uh, you know, Transformers for Listening yeah, Classic. So we chat on there. We share news. Uh, Antoine is a... He's not a member of the On Show cast, but he is a member behind the scenes and helps a lot with uh, sharing stuff to the group and keeping the news out there. So, and that's all a lot of fun too. So, with that, we'll be out. So, thanks everyone, and we'll talk to you next time. Peace thanks for watching. Bye. Toodles.